Hello everyone, so today I am gonna show you how to use uh, this nice beautiful IQ Mall program to build your molecular structures. Um, and you know, like over my experience I have worked with many different software, but it turns out that IQ Mall uh, is the most convenient so far. Well, uh, I mean, for many purposes. So, well, actually, let's let's actually go to some practical uh, exercises. So, I'm what I'm gonna build today is this uh, body body P diet two, this molecule here. Mm, okay, so what uh, uh let's uh, b first start with you know very brief uh, overview of what you have here. Well, this is the set of you know buttons for building molecules. This is set of buttons for selection and uh, you know de deletion of molecules or fragments, and this hand tool is for manipulation, so you can rotate and translate. Uh, so let me start first by uh, well now. Uh, the most convenient thing to start is with this add fragment in build uh, uh, group uh, of buttons. So uh, here you have actually three options. Functional groups, like when you select something like methyl, you have something like that. You have EFP, uh, effective fragment potentials, and also molecules, for instance like water that will insert the molecule itself. Now, for our purposes, we of course want to start with some uh, aromatics, right? So let's, la let's look at this one. So here we have indian, aniline, anisole, and stuff like that. Okay. So what I think I will start with is this indian molecule, right? So I select it and then click here. Now, um, when we choose this hand manipulation tool, uh, we have two options. Uh, if you hold um, your left button of your mouse, then you can uh, and move the mouse, then you can rotate the molecule. If you hold the right uh, mouse button, you can translate molecules. Now, that's what we start with. Uh, if we look back here, so what we need, we need to, you know, add these three more uh, carbon atoms on the other side of this uh, six-member ring. Um, and for that, uh, let me uh, add another fragment, and probably that will be something, one of the alkanes. Uh, and I think propane will work best. So I select propane and insert it here. What you notice is that uh, this alkene, well, this propane molecule uh, is aligned in, in not very convenient orientation. So we need to reorient it and uh, retranslate it somewhere so that, and of course you can move, uh, you can zoom in and zoom out by scrolling the wheel of your mouse, okay? Uh, now, um, so what you can, and among the most convenient features of IQMOL that I found so far is this option to manipulate on you know separate fragments of the molecule. So I select this propane molecule. Now I want to rotate and translate only this molecule. For that you have control. Like um, and then when when you when you click and uh, hold control button you see that this uh, hand tool appears and this is not just a uh, regular ha hand uh, which you have when you when you select this one this is for trans uh, rotation and translation of the overall system what you have with control is a ha hand with these dashes that means you can rotate and translate this selected molecule well uh, Rotation and translation is the same as for overall system, so it's a uh, left button for uh, rotation, but together with uh, hol holding control. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm reorienting this uh, molecule this way. Okay, now I want I can translate it closer here. 
I don't hold uh, control and then I can you know rotate the overall system now okay so let's go back to editing and um, I first will deselect this molecule okay by double clicking don't uh, don't matter about this you know strange bones uh, they will disappear at some point so I mean some bags I guess uh, bugs um, well okay so what we need to do next we need to get rid of these extra uh, hydrogens here and here and here so we, we can we selected them when this uh, magic wand uh, button is uh, is active and then we can uh, click this button delete selection so that selects all uh, that deletes all these button or hydrogen atoms now well it's not you know very perfect but it's uh, it's good for our purposes now we want to create this bond here right and for that uh, we uh, we now cannot use this add fragment uh, build mode uh, we need to choose the atom uh, um, and it uh, really doesn't matter which atom you choose for instance if you choose hydrogen um, you can create carbon hydrogen bonds like when you click on the uh, with left uh, mouse button on the carbon and then you hold it and drag this molecule you create this uh, uh, you create this carbon hydrogen atom or bond but if you continue and this hydrogen overlaps with uh, other carbon that you know turns out to be a carbon carbon bond and then you release the left uh, button of your mouse so that you know, completes this uh, creation of the bond the same we can do with this atom okay now we can we can uh, we can select this uh, whole fragment and move it a little bit closer here so it you know makes more sense now of course of course the uh, the resulting uh, uh, structure is not is not perfect uh, we of course need to um, uh, optimize it or well, before that actually let's uh, let's delete one of uh, carbon uh, hydrogens and then also let's create one of the double bonds here so that can be done with uh, here well not necessarily hydrogen okay so here 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 it is now for optimization you can go here to build and then uh, go to minimize structure um, you can prior to that you can select which force field uh, some empirical force field you want to use for the minimization or you can simply use this uh, you know uh, button uh, to custom, uh, minimize uh, structure so that's what we get eventually right um, well okay so this is not totally planner but that's fine well we have this you know uh, fragment first we need to do some more modification okay well we first we need to add this nitrogen groups and for that we will choose nitrogen atom here and then click here and here so then we have nitrogen instead of carbons now the same way we uh, substitute carbon with boron and then hydrogen with fluorine here and then we can also create one more boron fluorine uh, bond so um, what you get is this molecule well, it doesn't look right uh, in terms of structure so what you can do you can click on of this uh, fluorine atom and then you hold control and then left the uh, button of your mouse and you translate it okay now the same way you can do with this uh, other fluorine molecule this way we kind of you know help a little bit uh, our optimization uh, program well before we will optimize it let's uh, let's work on other parts so first we need to remove this hydrogen okay now well if you see from this structure here we have methyl groups and that's where when this uh, uh, add fragment uh, button comes into play 
one more time but instead of uh, molecules we will now be using functional group and then we can actually choose methyl okay um, and when we click uh, with this uh, button or uh, like the build button uh, when this uh, add pregnant group is selected uh, on this hydrogen we will create uh, we will basically substitute this hydrogen with methyl group okay that's what we get now we also need to uh, take care of the order of these double bonds right so one nitrogen uh, is connected uh, to hide uh, to this uh, adjacent carbon with double bond well for that we'll choose one of the atom building tools and then we create double uh, bond well this doesn't make sense so we of course need to make this bond a uh, single so we select the bond we delete it and then we uh, create one more bond again which is now a single bond so now let's look about the uh, alternation of this double bond double single double single so here should be double um, and that's what we'll do double now this one will delete and I'll create a single bond okay uh, now here should be double this should be single and uh, this should be double and this should be single okay so we'll just uh, nitrogen boron we will yes we will delete it and then create one more okay so now we have more or less reasonable alternation pattern of our double and single bonds and with that we can optimize structure one more time okay now it's done okay so what we basically need to finish uh, this a tutorial with is creating another uh, copy of this molecule and then connecting it to itself so we have done quite a, a lot of work and we don't want to repeat every step uh, like step by step so instead we will just uh, select the old molecule uh, and then uh, we here we can do copy now we do we deselect the molecule and then we say paste now it pastes a copy of the same molecule all on the top of the existing one so we we, we have to be careful so we, we uh, hold shift again and then with left hand uh, with left button of mouse we you know, kind of move the copy of the molecule over here and then we can continue manipulation we can reorient it the way we like right so we, we do this thing now if we select here we can rotate the overall molecule you will see well it is no uh, a little bit offset so we can translate the molecule a little bit um, now well that makes better sense we translate it here and closer and finally we basically will need to connect these two fragments uh, so let's deselect the molecule and then we can um, select these hydrogens and delete them and then finally here we have um, atom creation tool so we can now connect these two atoms and finally we do optimization and that's it that's basically it so we have uh, constructed our model uh, body p2 uh, in just about 15 minutes um, and that concludes our tutorial thank you for watching